Larry is talking with Ricardo, who is the guy behind the camera. Let's see how he responds. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> a man of few words, but they're all brilliant. Actually, if you get him off camera, he's got quite a few more than just hi. Talking on the way over here to shoot about motivation, and it dovetailed perfectly with some of the conversations I was having with other people because my wife, Diane, put out a thing about motivation, saying that if I have to motivate you, it's not going to happen. And it's funny because I'm in the personal development realm. I'm a self-development guy. I have a strong belief in using the tools of motivation to move forward in anything that you want to do, in business, all the other stuff. But the, the concept of external motivation is completely right. There is a difference, and, and it's a critical difference, between motivation and inspiration. If you've studied personal de development at all, this is not the first time you've heard this, but the truth of it is undeniable. Motivation comes from within. We see something, we feel something, we understand something, that there's more that there's something we're called towards, that there's something we want to move closer to. We see it, we want it. And it could be because somebody has dangled something in front of us. We see someone who's strong, we say I want to be like that person. We see someone who's rich and we say I want to be like that person. We see someone who's in love and we say I want to be like that person. That's inspiration. That's not somebody saying, hey, come on, you can do it, come on, you can do it. There's a place for that. And it inspires us. And it puts us in a place where in an environment where it's fun and, and to be those things. But when somebody is dragging us across the finish line and they say, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I don't know about you. I find that offensive. I find that completely out of alignment with what I want to do, with who I want to be. And I know that's the same for you. I know a lot of people get drawn to personal development because they want to grow into the person they always imagine themselves to be. But to have somebody dragging you, pulling you, and I'm talking to Ricardo here now because we had a very interesting conversation about people in his life. I <laughs> hope I'm not giving too much away. Um, he's shaking his head no. <laughs> but if we have to drag you across the finish line, it's not your time. If we have to pull you towards who you're supposed to be, the God force that was put in you doesn't mean you don't have it in you. It means it's not your time to move towards that thing. So if you find yourself in that situation now where you're looking for someone on the outside to tell you what to do, to drag you there, it's not your time yet. And that doesn't make you any less of a person. That doesn't make you any weak. That doesn't make you anything other than not ready to live out your divine intent. And that's where you let the inspiration of others guide you. That's where you let the example of what other people are doing show you what's possible for yourself and you start feeling better and there's a whole process that I teach and other people teach to get yourself to that place where you say I'm ready for more find it wherever you happen to be right now in that process honor it laugh at the screw ups along the way and when it's time where you're feeling that internal motivation forget it. it's